-hmm. We've all made New Year's resolutions, right? Whether it be money or probably dieting, but what about our kids? Experts urge that perhaps this time of year, parents should make some parenting resolutions. So here with some ideas on how to do that is Master Counselor Jane Fendelman. Jane, it's very good to have you here. We have your book. Wonderful to also, be here, Also, Raising Humane Beings. Yes. Do you find that we've kind of forgotten a lot of parents are so busy with their lives that we forget the basics of raising great kids. Yeah, we've forgotten to be humane. Yeah. We've forgotten to be kind to each other. We've forgotten we're teaching reading, writing, arithmetic, but I think we should have classes in school that are reverent, mm -hmm. uh, valuing human beings, uh, awe, practicing awe for the universe. I mean, there's really basic human joy and bliss that we don't teach in the schools. Right. Very spiritual aspect, I found. I don't know about you, Lisa. It's spiritual, practical. Book. Yes, spiritual, practical, practical. 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 And I don't know about you with parenting and other parents out there, but sometimes I get in those moments where it's been a hard day, bad day, and I just, at end of the fuse, snap, and I forget yeah. to really put into practice some of these things I know. What do you yeah. do then? Well, right in the first chapter, maybe in the first page, I say it's your job as a parent to be happy yeah. and blissed out. I mean, it's really your responsibility to live a life of joy because if you're sad and overwrought and frustrated or you're in an unhappy job or an unhappy relationship, right. your fuse is going to be short with your children. They don't deserve that. And they pick up on all that mm -hmm. too. Yes. I like what you said. I think it was along the lines of practice what you preach, you know, tell your kids to do this, do that, but you don't, you're not showing them. You're not a good model for what you want them to be. You want your yes. kids to be happy, but you're not. It doesn't yes. work. But how about being real, too, yeah. Jane? Because sometimes if you've had a bad day, sometimes they have a bad day. Can you not let them see that yeah. side? Of, you, you know, good I had point. a bad day. You don't have to be have a smile pasted on your right. face all the time. And feelings, there's a whole chapter called feelings. Ah! That's the name of the chapter. Well, let's go. We, I, we have some, yeah. It's okay to right. have your feelings. It's okay to have that. We were talking about some of the parenting resolutions, and we actually kind of narrowed them down to a couple here. Do we have yes. a still store? I don't know if we do or not. But uh, what are some of the resolutions that we can make as parents? Very good. Okay. Resolution number one, if anybody <laughs> has told you that you should drug your child, call me first. That should be your first resolution. <laughs> but um, that's my before my number one. But first resolution, don't repeat and don't punish because when you repeat, you're teaching your children not to listen the first time, and when you punish, you're asking for a payback. Uh, okay. So if they don't do it when you tell them? Well, I have a whole chapter called the Yes After You. Okay. You ask for what you want, maybe twice, to let them know this is very important. This, that you this morning, that was this morning. Do you want breakfast? Time to eat breakfast. I'm always like, yeah. verbal response. Verbal, yeah. verbal, yeah. verbal <laughs> response, Somebody that's good. Respond. So, okay, so say they don't. You say, honey, how would you like a surprise? I have a big surprise for you. And they say, yeah. And you say, okay. Meet me down in the kitchen, and after breakfast, I'll give you a big surprise. And maybe it's a dinosaur, and maybe it's oh. a hug and a kiss, I love you. Maybe it's a <gasps> oh. Yu-Gi-Oh card. I mixed it up. And parents say, I don't want to bribe my children. And I'm like, OK, well, then I think you should work for free. <laughs> I think why you, you get bribed to work. People give you money to work. Your job's important. You should do it for but free. But just keep it obvious things that you can handle, like a sticker. And yeah. a four-year-old, that goes a long way. Yeah. Yeah. Number two, I like all of these. They're very, very good. Let's get to number two. Don't throw guilt balls. Oh, oh boy. Do you find a lot of divorced parents do that? Is that high among everyone's list? These guilt, what are they? Yes, yes. When you throw a guilt ball, it's like saying to your young teenager, oh, you're going to be out with your friends on New Year's Eve and not home with your mother. <gasps> okay, I'm going under the table. I do these guilt balls. <laughs> Bye, everyone. You know, what you really mean to say is, what, what would be true, what would be authentic would be, I love you so much and I'm going to miss you so badly. That would be the truth. Because okay. you can't argue that, and that's not a guilt ball. But we teach our children to throw guilt balls, too. So if you've done something and you feel guilty about with your children, do the four A's. You act not, because what parents do is they, they feel guilty about something, and they wind up having a covert agreement with their children to punish them. Right. Okay, so you do the four A's. Acknowledge, apologize, acknowledge that you hurt the person, apologize, ask for amends, make amends, and ask for forgiveness. All right, let's get to the other one. There, there's so much to cover here. We never have enough time for this. Yes. Uh, get eyeballs, eyeball. I like Very that. Yeah. I, I, I get that one. Mm -hmm. Get your kids out of the middle of your. Re oh, hello. hello. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just read the last one. Find out what your children came here to teach you. Oh, Ooh, that's that's let's talk about four really quick. Parents, listen up. Get mm. your kids out of the middle of your problems. Yeah, right? do, they, yeah. do the kids sit in between you at movies in the car, in your bed? Are they sleeping in your bed? 
Whoever is next to the alpha female, that's the lead female, is the alpha male. Whether it's a boy child or a girl child, that means that they're in mm -hmm. charge of the household. Ooh. And if they're dividing you and your husband, if, there's, if they're able to get in between you, then you and your husband might have a subconscious agreement to distance yourself by using the children. Well, do they do that a lot with divorce? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's like number one. They do uh -huh. that all the time. Yep, yep. And people, also single people, use their children as a distancer to set boundaries. No one comes between me and my kids. So you can't do that. You have to learn to set healthy boundaries yourself. And just so you know how Jane knows all that, she has a long, <laughs> long background in what, fam counseling? And yes, well, my first degree was a Bachelor of Science in Education, so I was a teacher to start with and uh, a psychotherapist for 12 years, and I've been doing individual couples and child family therapy. And I'm probably most famous for saying ADD and ADD, ADHD don't exist. They're made up. Wow. Well, right. leaving on that. So for all of you out there, yeah, that, that's a great way to leave this. <laughs> this is Jane's book, and you can learn more about a lot of the things that we talked about in Raising Humane Beings, and we've got more information on our hotline and on our website. Jane, I could probably talk to you for about oh, three more great. hours here. Oh, yeah. but I'm, I'm going to be your new patient, so. Well, I was reading this, and I'm like, oh, boy. And, you know, I, I would say that I'm pretty good when it comes to my kids, and I, I feel like my husband and I are on the same page, but you can learn so much from it, and, mm -hmm. and you can help others with some of the information that's in here, too. So thank you. Absolutely. Thank you much. so much. Thank you. And remember her last time. one. Learn things from your kids, too.